<laughs> Hi, boys and girls, it's Mr. Hall. I just wanted to check in and see how things are going at home. I really hope that you've been able to be active this last week and a half, two weeks. Uh, it's really important to keep your bodies moving, also important for your parents' sanity to get your energy out, right? hopefully some time outside. Well, I thought it'd be fun to maybe do a couple little FIED lessons together. Uh, you can watch me here, watch it on your computer, and maybe follow along or, or do an activity after we're all done here showing you. To start with, we need to do a warm up, right? Just like we do at school, except it's going to be a little bit different. I have some lovely assistants with me today. This is? Finley. You remember your name, buddy? Solomon. Solomon and Asa. They are going to be my helpers today to show you what we're going to do. Now, instead of a normal warm up, I thought it'd be fun to do a home warm up called Put the Laundry Away. That's right. This is real people. Real life is happening right here. We have piles of laundry that need to be put away. So I'm going to get my timer out. On the go, they are going to run and put the laundry away as fast as possible. Helpers, are we ready? Yes. Okay, on your marks, get set, go. All right, oh, oh, Finley, you dropped one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. You dropped another one. Never mind, forget it, forget it. We'll come back for it. Go, Asa, come on, buddy. Let's go, buddy. You got it, man. You got Solomon, you're supposed to put it on. Oh, yeah, that goes in the kitchen. Sorry, you can put that on the table, Solly. Put it on the table, yep. Okay, let's go, Finley, come on. Come on, Solomon, let's go, let's move, let's go. High knees, come on. Just grab one, dude. Any pile. It doesn't matter, any pile. No, Asa, that's good. That's an armful. That's an arm load, that's enough. All right, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Come on, let's go, unhitch the plow, oh, let's go, come on, let's move. Almost done, let's go, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice job, Asa, good form, good form. High knees, yep, tight to the chest, good job, good work. There we go. Come on, Finley, let's go, let's move, let's go. Come on, Solomon, let's go. 10 seconds, come on, let's go, dude. Come on, Finley. Come on, Asa, one pile. Let's go, man. Let's go, buddy. That's it. Come on. Finish strong. Finish strong. Finish strong. Let's go. All the way through. Back to the living room. Let's move. Here we go. Woo. Nice job. Nice job. Come on, Asa. Where's he at? He got lost. That's okay. He'll make it. Woo. I'm tired. I don't know about you. But my blood's pumping. How about you guys? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Okay. Now that we're warmed up, it's time for our first activity. Now, we are going to do a little challenge called bottle flip. Now this is really easy. All we're going to be doing is flipping a bottle and trying to get it to land straight up. So I'm just going to give it a little toss. First try, awesome. Let's see if I can do it again. Perfect. Oh, just like that. Now. We're going to have one little difference though. You have to earn your flips. So before we do a flip, we're going to do three jumping jacks. So we're going to do one, two, three. Now that earns me two flips. So I get to flip twice. Oh, one. Oh, didn't get it. I do three more. One, two, three. And then I get to flip again. Oh, there's one. Oh, one, two. Three, I have one so far. I've gotten one up. Two. Nice. One. Two. Three. We're going to do that for one minute. So I want to see how many times you can get the bottle to land straight up in one minute. Now remember, you have to do three jumping jacks. One, two, three. And that earns you two flips of the bottle. Pretty simple. We're going to do, we're going to have a little contest. Now you can do this by yourself. You don't have to do it with other people, but I thought it'd be fun if maybe you do it, a little competition against your brothers or sisters or your mom or dad or grandpa and grandma. Here, why don't we have Asa do the little one, okay? Here, biggest, middle, small. Are we ready? Remember, you have to do three jumping jacks before you get to flip twice. Are we ready? Ready. Okay, 
Ready? Go. One, two, three. Okay, flip, Finley. You get two flips. Go, Sally. Whoa, that was impressive. Whoa, run, Sally. Grab it. Okay, Finley. Nope, you do three more jumping jacks now. One, two, three. Keep going. Flip it. Flip it. Maybe try to flip it. Just one, two, three. I mean, it's not just counting the three, it's doing three jumping jacks, but you know, whatever. Okay, come on, buddy, come on. Peace out. Yeah, that was, a, that was a big flip, okay? Get those arms moving, Finley. Come on, we've got 20 seconds left. You get two flips for every three jumping jacks, Finley. Whoa, Asa, that was a good one, man. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, good job, Solomon. 4, 3, 2, 1, and that's time. How many did you get, Finley? Did you get any? I got like two or one. Two or one, Solomon? How many did you get? Um, one. One, awesome. Hey, the great thing is, you can get zero, you can get 10, it doesn't matter, right? Because you can do it as many times as you want to. You can change the rules. You could do um, squats instead of jumping jacks. You could do scissor jumps. You could do 10 exercises instead of three. It's really up to you. You can do it for five minutes instead of one minute. I don't care, right? Do whatever you want, okay? Just make it fun. Okay, next challenge is going to involve a little bit different Equipment. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, boys and girls, with our bottles, um, it can be anything. This is just an old Gatorade bottle. This is a little water bottle. I think that had juice in it. For the farm kids, you could do a calf bottle. Mrs. Marker will appreciate that one. Now, this one, I will say, is a little bit more tricky. I don't think I've been able to flip it and get it to stand yet. Challenge yourself. All right. For this next one, all you're going to need is a roll of toilet paper. Very important. Hopefully everyone has this in stock. Um, and then you can have some plates. I've got a little plastic plate. Um, I've got some little plastic cutting board. We have a little cake pan. I'll save those other ones for me. Okay, what this is, is just a TP flip. You're just going to flip the teepee and see if you can get it to land right side up on your plate. So, no, 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 doesn't count. Can't just land on your plate, it's gotta flip. Now this is going to be hard for our little learners. So if you do want to just flip it up, oh, I did it. If you wanna flip it up and just catch it like that, that's great. But see if you can get it <gasps> to flip up. Oh, no. This is great for hand-eye coordination balance. There you go. You could do the same thing. You could do one minute. See how many times you can get it to land straight up in one minute. If you get really good with the plate, maybe you want to try something a little bit smaller. Oh, no. Ah, there we go. Oh, no, no. Okay. Ah. No. Oh. Ah, okay. If you get really good at that, you can move on to the spatula. That's right. This is advanced class. This is AP, AP Fayed. Now this one might be fun. You can challenge your parents to this one. See if your parents can flip and get it to land on the spatula. We'll see if Mr. Hall can do it. Hey, first try. Oh, no. Oh, oh, now that one, you know what, for a spatula, we'll count that because it's not super easy. Oh, no. I want to try to make it. Hey. Nothing like flipping TP on a Wednesday. Hey, there we go. So see how many you can get. Challenge your parents. Challenge your grandpa or grandma, your aunt or uncle. Whoever you're hanging out with during the day. You know what? We've got these things laying around the house, right? Most people have a spatula. Most people have a roll of toilet paper, I hope. You want to get really tricky. Let's see, look at the, the width. 
Ooh, I'm gonna get a little more advanced for the really advanced parents out there and learners. See if I can. Oh, oh. Do it on this one. Oh. Well, I mean, we have a lot of time on our hands, right? You can spend all day perfecting this. So, boys and girls, I really hope you're doing well at home. Hope you're staying healthy. I hope you're being active. I am going to keep trying to post uh, new videos. Uh, weekly hopefully i don't i don't know if it'll happen every day but we'll see but be creative use the things that you have around you i know we don't have our gym storage with all our fun equipment that we have at school but guess what this stuff works just as well okay i'll be coming out with some different videos showing you how you can use different items that you have laying around the house clothing housewares uh to stay active and have fun and be healthy I will see you all soon. Take care.